Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a wonderful new day God has given us and let us glorify him through our lives. And let us give ourselves a few minutes to listen to the voice of God before we begin our day activities. You know, we live in a very uncertain world. tomorrow what is going to happen we do not know our tomorrows are all unknown and the events and the happenings that will uh, that that will confront us we do not know and our own life there are so many uncertainties now such is the scenario that surround us now how can we find our firmness and keep ourselves focused and i will speak you know the bible talks about three one thing and that is what i want to tell you and i will tell the first of it this morning and then we will continue with the other two later In the gospel according to St John chapter 9 verse 25 we read these words of a man who was blind but suddenly Jesus came and Jesus healed him and gave him the sight Now this miracle has not only really excited the man and he was the happiest man on that day in Jerusalem and these are the words uttered by him you know this miracle also drew lot of criticism and uh, hatred towards jesus because according to the critics the pharisees and uh, other people there the leaders they thought that he should not be healed on sabbath day or whatever the reason was and they wanted to know who healed him and they had started asking all kinds of questions to this blind man who was blind but now uh, healed can you imagine that all these years he was about 40 years old he lived a life that he was miserable to him because he could not see anything he could not see enjoy the 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 rising of the sun he could not look at the flowers and enjoy the beauty of nature he could not see the birds and nothing he could see the stars in the skies and amazing things that happen which is a delight So they were questioning him with all kinds of question who healed you and what did he say to you and what did he do to you and all these kind of things and then he himself got fed up at the end he said listen i do not know anything that you are asking me but one thing i know that is what that is the phrase that i want to dwell on that is chapter 9 verse 25 i was blind but now i see that is the only thing i know for sure these are the words of one born blind who was healed by the lord jesus christ what do you know the knowledge you possess is important there is an entrance exam for any even for a, for 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 joining a new course in a college or uh, seeking a job and for everything there is an entrance examination and uh, what you know 
the knowledge possessed by you is important and that is why the entrance examination the institution wants to know whether giving you the admission will benefit him and benefit the college as well and then after that there is an interview and what is the purpose they want to know what you know the knowledge you possess whether you are qualified for that degree for that job for that position for that promotion are you qualified and are you worthy for what you are seeking and it is important in our spiritual life as well what you know determines whether you are eligible for eternal life in heaven with jesus always remember do not take this matter for granted oh because i have a christian name because i go to church and all these sort of things no you must know for sure where you will spend your eternity and this time that is available to you is meant for that make sure do you possess the right knowledge this is the reason jesus asked his disciples the question what do you say who i am no he was not taking a, 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 a Uh, an opinion paul about himself paul about himself he was not trying to promote himself and uh, how big he is and how important he is no the reason he asked that question was what do you say who i am he wanted to make sure that the disciples possessed the right knowledge about jesus whom they are following now we do not know many things about our future we do not know what does the rest of uh, 2022 um will bring may bring to us but this one thing i know he who feeds the sparrow is the one who goes before me that is the answer to the question uh, to the problem that i do not know anything about tomorrow i don't know about tomorrow do you know no nobody can say but there is one thing that we can make sure that the one who feeds the sparrow today he will feed the sparrows tomorrow as well and therefore he is the one who goes before me I do not know the theological philosophical answers to many questions of life now and hereafter in eternity there are many questions we still do not know there are mysteries as far as we are concerned everything is not revealed to us but this one thing i know he who is the resurrection and life holds the keys of hell and death and he has prepared a place for me which is my eternal home and that's what he promised i am going to prepare a place for you 
now i do not know the way god moves and which direction his his spirit comes from and goes or how we cannot know these things and god is sovereign he can do anything any time and while we do not know these thing where the 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 wind comes from and where does it go and how it all happen i do not know but this one thing i know he knows the way i walk and where i come from and where i am going you know in first timothy second timothy chapter 1 verse 12 Second Timothy chapter one verse twelve says, Second Timothy chapter one verse twelve says, I am not ashamed because I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced. that he is able to god what i have committed and entrusted to him for that day do you know whom you believe i don't mean do you know his name yes jesus christ but do you know him and it is the knowledge of christ that enables you to face your uncertain tomorrows that's why the song is sang i don't know about tomorrow tomorrow may bring poverty or tomorrow may bring something that i do not know i don't even expect but this one thing i know who holds me and who holds my tomorrow that's why it is important my friends for you to entrust yourself to him lord i don't know anything about my future but this one thing i do i want to be in your hand and that is good enough i am in your hand i am in your care I know that you who feeds the sparrow is the one who feeds me not only today but tomorrow as well and let us all possess this one knowledge whom do we believe and my friends when you entrust yourself to Jesus Christ and let him be the lord of your life you are safe and with this thought let us commit ourselves to him and just live one day at a time how about tomorrow my tomorrow is in his hand. that's all i need to know god bless you that with that knowledge you will succeed lord i thank you we need the holy spirit to make sure that jesus christ is for me and i am in his hand thank you lord